All right, hello everybody. Welcome to VR Master League here in our final week of the regular season. This is season two. This is week ten, and we've got ourselves a, a important match, uh, as is going to be the case for a lot of the matches here on stream this week. Of uh, this one, first of the day, it's the Midnight's versus Meta, and on the cast, I'm Palador, and to tell you about some of those stakes at play, it's Sir Dimwi. Yeah, how's it, yeah, how is it going, everybody? What's up, Palador? Yeah, this is a uh, this is a really uh, this is a really important match for both of these teams uh, with regard to the rookie finals. You've got uh, uh, the Midnight sitting at uh, number eleven on that uh, the rookie finals ladder, uh, and then uh, um, Meta here uh, sitting at twenty fifth. Now, don't let that that placement disparity fool you. Uh, basically with with where we're sitting where with where these teams sit on the ladder a, a single victory can a single victory or loss can swing you up to 10 places uh and so what we're actually looking at is if meta gets a victory here they could push themselves up into the top 16 uh for the moment and the midnights could potentially fall out of the top 16. and uh but if meta loses here uh this could drop them far enough back they may just be out of the race so meta basically in a must-win situation here if they want to get into those rookie finals whereas for the midnights a, a loss here would not be good it would probably drop them out but if they still played that other game uh before friday and i uh, got a victory there they could still make it in so the midnights uh not as much pressure but certainly pressure uh to perform here uh but meta in a very much in a, a must-win situation uh coming into this one yeah for sure and actually it just occurred to me kind of uh, right now because of this match being Oh no, not the dings. Uh, because of, of this match being a uh, seemingly rescheduled from last week, these teams could still potentially have uh, up to three more matches this week, regardless of this one. That's a fair point. That's a fair uh, point. I didn't miss that. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't think of it until just now, but that, that could be a factor. But at the same time, I mean, when it comes down to literally your last few games it's it's still gonna matter and like you said especially for meta uh, they don't want to drop and have to be playing essentially w uh, with the pressure and, and the weight on their shoulders going to the next two should they lose this one so it's still big stakes at play oh absolutely still still big stakes at play because uh you know this is uh the rookie finals we're probably not going to see another one this is probably the only season we're going to have a rookie final so this is your only opportunity uh, your uh, as a rookie team, the only opportunity to play in a rookie finals. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, after this, uh, we're gonna, it's going to be the normal finals. It's going to be those, uh, you know, maybe maybe in later seasons, we'll see uh, the number of teams getting into the uh, postseason expand. But as of right now, it's it's uh, eight teams total. Yeah. You know, so uh, it's a very unique situation. And I'm really excited for it. And this Saturday, I mean, it's coming up. We're, we got uh, five days coming yep. up this Saturday. And I'm very excited to see it. Yeah, that, that's very true. Didn't uh, consider that either, just because of the huge influx of Quest users. Yeah, uh, it, uh, so many rookies. I mean, if we ever did it again in future seasons, it would have to be Sophomore Cup, I suppose, next time around. But at the same time, uh, there's just uh, so many of these, these great rookie teams here this season. By the time Season 3, Season 4 rolls around, I kind of I expect these teams uh, that are going to make it to those rookie finals, I expect a lot of them to be climbing that ladder still yet in Season 3 and just be right up there in the mix i mean they already kind of are but with some of those uh pc veteran teams oh yeah you look through places uh like about like 25 to 50 it's a mix of both it's uh, it's absolutely fantastic to see very excited for the future vec arena as we get started here in round one yeah well fast joust is going to be underway as it looks like uh, meta will take first possession here with the defense now getting back into the goal at least three out of the, the four defenders but uh, driving it right into a uh, jay giselle but uh, unable to get the grab it will be still slung out to the side wall and uh, staying on this side of the floor for a moment a sending robot gonna send that one into the bubble was looking for uh, that green uh, uh excuse me that's not who that the boss play excuse me <laughs> and now sending that one across over to rage but rage uh, not uh, anticipating that pass sending robot does get there flings it forward as he gets stunned out uh, a bit of a brawl for it here though uh, uh giselle gonna get that one cleared out through that near side tube at least into the tube while they're turning back over to reset oh the speed of that walk shot there from kiwi uh from keith and uh, that one's gonna take a wild bounce of the bubble couple yeah, a couple and right back to robot the sitting robot that is and they can uh, get some points here you know they'll be a grinning robot but nonetheless through the right tunnel 
with one minute expired off the clock Ooh. and just neutralized each other basically off of a couple turnovers. So just right back to the other end. There comes a, a couple players back into the defense and Rage just being stunned, but now off the head there of Boss plays it looks like and will be uh, J-Way with a clear play. That's a midfielder there though and doesn't ma matter. They're still going to get some bounces on this clear. Yeah, what a, what a recovery there by Giselle. They had that, chance, that stack was going out to, to recover that clear, but the clear took that bounce off the of station and, and it just took that, that really quick bounce back in. And uh, Giselle was very, very quick to pick that one up and send it out. But another turnover here is a Reese piece is going to send that one across there, though. Uh, uh, turnover there. Giselle taking a long shot, going to hit the nest, bounce down to the floor. Now a bit of a, a race for it. That's going to be J-Way getting there. J-Way moving in on the bubble. Uh, maybe going to take the opportunity. No, he's going to back it out. Look for a better opportunity. A good play there. He's going to set it up to Keith. Keith, though, right in the hands of the boss play. He's going to turn around now for meta. And right into the tunnel as a, a slightly boosted rage comes through, but is unable to find that first grab. So uh, Reese will as it gets sent into the trench, where there's a slap clear attempt there. A nice grab by JJ, it had to react really quickly and still got the snag, and already just looking for a bounce, and either way, they already have the boost, so if they can't overshoot, if they don't overshoot, which they do, they would've had an open goal. Doesn't matter, because they still got the points. It's two for Midnight's. Yeah, it's kind of, uh, yeah, a little bit of a scramble of a goal there, but they're gonna get it. It's two, two minutes, 18 seconds into uh, round one. We're gonna get our first goal here to the Midnight's. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's just a, a, a bit of a script, but you looked, I mean, they used a, a little boost there to get there. So I mean, the coordination, both these teams look really good. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, a lot of the, the past sequences we've seen, a lot of the chains, a lot of the coordination uh, between members is absolutely fantastic. And we see uh, some more of it there on that one. Yeah, trying to uh, get this disc back here for Meta, and they will at least temporarily, but a, a sling off into the tunnel where JJ was already waiting, and now a rebound here from Reese. Not a lot of time. Great grab from J-Way, and J-Way makes the play for the fourth point, Midnight's. Yeah, that was just that was just a heads-up play there by J-Way to, to, to pick the pocket of, uh, I believe that was Reese. And I bring it in for that too. He had all the time, so he, you know he didn't take a chance on. It. He just walked it in and set it in with a slam dunk there. And uh, yeah, that's that's only 25 seconds after that last goal. The Midnight's up by four here, but still over six minutes to go. Still plenty of time uh, for Meta to return in this one. Yeah, lower scoring thus far. And you're right, a lot of time to spare as uh, the boss plays does try to find the first points, but more defense coming out from Mad Thrasher and uh, sends it right out to uh, the midfield, still another rebound, and still another delivery to Rage, and repositioning it now with, a, with a, some slow play. Good to uh, see the patience here. Not getting too panicked just because they're down a couple goals. Yeah, and uh, maybe using that as the motivation, the shot there with the Mad Thrasher, the 11th, excuse me, the 21st, sending that one out of the bubble. Uh, and then G uh, Giselle picking that one up, gonna send that one in, and if, if, if that player's name is not actually Giselle, and I've just uh, 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 you know turned it into Giselle. I apologize, um, uh, but that's that's the best I have. <laughs> I seem to recall being informed just called JJ before, so that's what JJ. I go with, or, or JJ okay. Zell, either way. But uh, yeah, uh, over in the Twitch chat, by the way, I see a lot of people up and in, and that's right. It is Palador, it is Sir Dimwi, that is correct. Princess and Swag, good to see you guys, as well as FMJ and Mighty Quinn, Krusty Cat, Defoliate Rex. Uh, all of you guys, thanks for joining here in this important uh, match in this final week of the regular season. So JJ, gonna send that one through <laughs> that uh, that near side tube down into the meta zone. Uh oh, sitting robot overshooting it. It's gonna be JJ getting there, picking it up. JJ moving in, has uh, J-Way to the left, gonna walk it in, was looking for that one-on-one. -on -one. But Rage uh, coming up behind him, gonna get, give him the, uh, the, the stun there in the bubble, send it back towards mid, and uh, almost an opportunity there, but maybe a lack of communication. You know, he should have known that that player was gonna be on him and uh, maybe uh, either set the oh, an opportunity there. JJ gets it right back and send it in, and uh, just over halfway through, Midnight's gonna go up by six. Yeah, that three goals now, uncontested here. Uh, Midnight's just getting what they want. It might take a few extra tries and, you know, still lower scoring, but it doesn't matter. Uh, they're up by a few, and that's going to matter a lot here because with a, a donut still on the scoreboard for Meta and less than half of this round to go, they're going to really need to start increasing the scoring pace uh, here in the last few. Yeah, they really do. I mean, it's a, a you know, it's a two goal difference, but really, it's probably going to be a three goal difference. The way uh, the, these defenses have been playing, how quickly their goalies cover those lanes and get back in goal. Uh, so it's probably going to be a three goal difference with four minutes to go here. That's a uh, you know, you're pressing up on one goal a minute, which uh, the pace of this game is not one goal. Oh, no, long shot there. Oh, off of the ding ring. Kiwi Keith almost getting that one in from the, uh, the trap. 
Yeah, tough miss. Uh, looked like it could have been good. I think maybe even he thought it was good. But either way, they're at least good for the rebound. They're at least good for the pass just before the stun. And there's JJ uh, sending it over to the nest right as a uh, Keith Kiwi Keith that is tries to find it and right through the teeth, the Kiwi teeth of the defense. Midnight's now eight points. Oh, you know Kiwi's. You know Kiwi Keith is feeling good after that shot. I can tell you that's a. Uh... I've made a couple of those in, 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 uh, in my own games, and uh, they always, when you get it in right on the edge there, right, out, right, right outside of the grab of the goalie, man, it feels so good to beat the goalie like that. And the goalie, not how, oh no, Jay Way. I have no Jay idea. Jay <laughs> with this sack. My camera wow. decided to do things, so I didn't see it, but didn't we? It sounded like it was one of those long launches that just provided uh, nothing but pain on the other side. Midnight's, they're doing a lot of pain because now it's double digit lead and that is uh, going to be, based on the pace, almost impossible to come back from, I feel like, in, with three minutes. Yeah, this one, this one difficult, not out of mathematical time, but at this pace, it's going to be difficult. They're going to have to score very quickly uh, if they want to come back here. It's a boss play. is going to take that one to the far side, send it back for the reset. Still playing patiently. You know, they're not looking panicked, and that's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, that's just as important as, as, uh, as, as your game plan. And although that one's going to turn over, JJ sending that one back towards mid. And uh, on the stacks, immediately trying to find the recovery. It will be a, a Reese there uh, finding the midfielder. Rage now sending it over to the uh, wall, just trying to be careful about the, the defense trying to play up here. But now might be a one-on-one. -on -one. Nope, take it back because there's some good boost coming through actually from Ooh. Midnight's and really just keeping this uh, cork inside that goal. Yeah, that turnover right there, JJ picking it up, has one player, one blue player in front, gonna go ahead and send this one down, just to clear down into the bubble. At this point, all they need is time. Uh, so they don't need a goal there, they just need to get more time off the clock, get it closer to that, uh, that, uh, that, 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 uh, the, the mathematical time threshold, as we might call it. The Sydney Robot, oh no! Right there, point blank, gonna ding that one off the bottom corner. I've done it myself a few times, it happens to the best of us. Uh, but that one's still gonna keep this one scoreless for uh, meta. Yeah, tough miss there, but also, just a bad angle, uh, to, a rough angle to shoot that because he knew the comms came through and, you know, they still made a play at the end of it. So uh, well done for meta. But yeah, I just think a mishandling on uh, the disc and the stack was coming at the time. So really just had to force a rather tough shot. But at least they broke the seal here. They can maybe use that going into the next round. With a minute and a half here, Midnight's going to have a player drop. But it looks like they're just going to play through as there's only a minute 20 left. Uh, nine point difference. It's a minimum of three goals. So they're, they're in a good place here. As long as they can stop a three from going in in the next 30 seconds, they'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, kind of a wise thing there. Uh, dropout's always unfortunate, but really, uh, as we... Oh, uh, get the player... So might have just headed into spectator on accident on based on that. I'm not really sure. There you go. Back in the game. So wise move not to expend the timeout. The case. <laughs> wise move not to expend the timeout, and, well, they're back in it. Yeah, I, I know. I've, I've, that's one of the things. You just you come out of the the spawn, that you, your your arms are just hanging down, and you just you brush by the button and you go into spec. It's really uh, it's a jarring experience because you're like, no, 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 but you can't stop it. It's it's coming. You can't stop it. Yeah. Thirty five seconds on the clock. Uh, Midnight's gonna clear this one back into the meta zone here. All right. Well, one more bounce into the rebounded hands of Jayway, and one more goal for the thirteenth point here as the clock does drain off. Uh, round two, gonna be very important now for meta to come back. And we saw it, I think, at least twice, maybe three times yesterday where first rounds were lost, but then the second rounds, uh, the team still came back. So it's really not impossible uh, whatsoever. But I'm, I'm hoping for it, uh, for the sake of, you know, keeping uh, meta keeping themselves alive here and, you know, for the entertaining maybe round three if we can get there. Yeah, and, and it, from what I've seen from Meta, I mean, it, the, the, they pass. They're very competent with their passes, with their formations. They know how to set up on offense and defense. Uh, it's just a matter of completing those passes, getting them into the hands of the intended targets. And the other important thing I saw is at Meta, at no point did they look panicked. Did they look like uh, they were freaking out? You know, they, they looked like they were caught. Ca ca it looked as though their comms were calm and collected the whole game. Mm -hmm. uh, they were just on. They were they were trying to do their best to stay on it. Uh, you know they fell pretty far behind. They, you know they knew what the situation was, and I just stayed collected. That's what it looked like to me. It looked like their comms were gonna, were probably really calm through that through, through that whole game. Yeah, calm, calm, sells shells by the seashore or something like that. But uh, exactly, it just the comms so important. And I think you know for a lot of these teams, I know uh, 
earlier on in the season, especially before it st started consciously muting a little bit more, I, I was even impressed in the first month or so, just listening to some of the, the comms uh, coming in you know, openly from the teams. Of course, they have each other muted, but really just getting it together, uh, that's the reason why you have so many of these rookie teams uh, approaching and, well, actually past those, those top 50 overall, as you said, just right in the mix because their team play, their chemistry, their communication is right in line uh, and well advanced you know, beyond where it has any right to be. So it's always super impressive. No, yeah, that's that's uh, that's one thing that they all seem to pick up on really, really early is the importance of communication and how to communicate effectively. And uh, it's really fantastic to see as uh, teams are going to come out here. That's going to be the Midnight's getting that headbutt all the way down into the meta zone. That's a 2.75 second joust time. Uh, it was 2.35 last round for the Midnight's, and it was a meta who actually got the... Uh, the joust on it, they, they got their first, so I estimate they were actually closer to two seconds. Uh, but 2.75 on that one is this one's going to be in the midnight zone, bouncing around the far side trap. Parting Crab in the chat says, hi, Dimwi. Just wanted to point that out, as well as Ooga Booga and 007. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. And I see uh, AXZ Beast as well. Yeah, chat really active today. Also, uh, crusty, cr crusty cat asking crusty about the crabs in the game. <laughs> and oh, the boss plays though. Gonna get our first goal here. This one's going to meta. Forty-two seconds in. This could be uh, the turnaround. This could be. Uh, we might be seeing uh, uh, meta uh, back in form here, getting back together, collecting themselves after that uh, that intermission. And uh, getting that goal there, I, I, I like what I'm seeing so far. Mm -hmm. Well, we always talk about how between seasons the meta can shift. How about in this match between rounds the meta it might shift. Uh, in a sense where, uh, yeah, they got the first two points. That's already an improvement of where they uh, started out in that first round. So got to love that. Uh, if they can get it back here on maybe a turnover, they'll definitely be in good position and start feeling that uh, that rhythm change. Oh, a little uh, teleporting activity there. Someone's losing the tracking. This one's going to get sent back to Reese on the back line there. Reese going to send it into the tube. Although it hits the lip and now turn over into the hands of JJ, though. A good stuff there by Rage. Rage shutting it around now for Meta coming through that near side tube. So uh, Meta uh, 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 successfully getting that turnover off of the Midnight's uh, Joust advantage. Rage, three on one, moving in as uh, as Midnight's lose the player again. And that's going to be a goal there to Meta. Going to go up four here and uh, now anticipating a uh, restart. Yep, and restart was indeed hit here. So uh, we'll get the timeout and five minutes on the clock. And ideally, Midnight's will be able to get their player back. And I'm assuming, yeah, and didn't join Spectator confirmed this time. So... Uh, just going to be a straight up re invite, it seems. Now, uh, it will be four points for meta. They got 8.05 there on the clock, and, uh, you know, got that set all already. And I guess the saving grace here, it, it, it's always unfortunate dropping out your players, but because it did occur pretty early on and they're only down a couple goals, uh, they still have plenty of time to have that not be a factor. Uh, so we'll see how that does turn out here. And a technical Rex in chat asking uh, what were the first round scores? I believe it was 13 to 2 mm -hmm. uh, in favor of the Midnights. And uh, so that's why we we're commenting on uh, uh, at the start of this game was uh, how meta turning this one around so far in the first two minutes, getting uh, the four points, uh, the early lead, uh, two goals up. And it's a really exciting uh, start to this uh, second round as, uh, as we were waiting for uh, that player to return here. Yeah. And also, also, I didn't get it in yet, but I will be having music on these timeout screens. Very soon from here on out to kind of match the uh, the other win screens there. Oh, that's a nice little change. Yeah, you know, adding little little things here and there. I know it's not a big deal, but it feels like it, it should have been obvious. I don't know. But, yeah, uh, adding in little things here and there. want to get some more player cards over the weeks. I mean, we're winding down the season and, you know, uh, trying to put in all the improvements as these teams just continue to improve as well uh, throughout all these matches and these streams. I mean, I was already impressed in weeks one, two, and three with uh, so many of these teams, and it's only continued that trend here going forward into the, the latter half of the season. Uh, you know, certain teams I wasn't able to stream all the time or, you know, frequently there were a couple weeks gaps in there. And then when I come back and stream them, I'm like, wow, I, there's, they've improved. Like in a short amount of time, I, I notice just uh, the, the tangible improvements here from them. And that's why I'm, I'm really glad, you know, credit to our mod team uh, for putting together this rookie uh, finals. Yeah, really, really. And I, I cannot express how excited I am for those rookie finals. I really am. Because uh, I think there's a lot of folks who may not realize how talented 
a lot of these new teams are. I really, I really do believe that. And I think the rookie finals is going to finally put them on a big stage on display for everyone to see is uh, we're going to get another restart here as a disc is starting at mid uh, at the moment. Uh, oh. But I, I would also uh, reach out. I would also suggest to talk to uh, established teams because, uh, you know, in the off season, you see all sorts of uh, all sorts of uh, movement around. Uh, there's a lot of you see a lot of changes in the off season. So I would I would I would uh, encourage established teams to watch the rookie finals if for no other reason to, than to scout that new talent because there are some exceptionally talented players playing on these rookie teams that 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 are worthy of that recognition of being noticed by you know those top those top teams and maybe uh, maybe getting a maybe their team breaks up in the off season or something and uh, they get that come up uh, as we are going to start here in round two successfully this time with 8.12 on the clock met out by four. Officially back underway this time, everything in the correct place and 8.07 uh, here as the clock ticks down. Uh, down a couple goals for uh, Midnight's, but they do have that first round buffer, 13-2 to two on that victory, so meta, definitely good for them to get off to a much better start. I mean, already in just like that, that first minute or two uh, improving on their score from round one across the whole 10 minutes, so that's a good sign. It is a really good sign, but it's JJ moving in here right now for the Midnights. Good pass back there to Kiwi Keith. Kiwi Keith, gonna send that one in off a of bounce. Oh. What a setup there. That was intentional. I know. That was 100% <laughs> intentional. That, that was, was fantastic there. That was so smart. That was great. I love that. Uh, had, had I mean, that, you can't even like question that. Like, there's no question. Because I was like, uh, when he sent it in, I'm like, there's nobody back there. And then you see that flat bounce and the two of them coming in. I'm like, oh, that's just, that's just fantastic. It, that was just, yeah, that was uh, extremely great, you know, quick decision making essentially there. Because they had the, the one teammate in the bubble with him who was stunned at the time and uh, was kind of heading into dangerous territories from there. So yeah, just got rid of it knowing that, okay, by the time this bounces back, one of us, either me or my stunned teammate, are going to be able to get that. And that was a brilliant move coming in from uh, from Midnight's. But Meta, trying for the rebuttal here from the Bowtie. Sending Robot, going to send that one across. Look for Reese. Reese, get a slash. Whoa! <laughs> that would go very near the, 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 uh, the that corner pocket there, but it's going to be going to be picked up by uh, the Sinning Robot. And then Kiwi Keeps with a great read. Going to get this one cleared back into the meta zone, all the way down into the meta bubble. Bouncing down to the floor. They're going to be a race for it. There's a lot of leeches, a lot of fast players coming Ooh, in. No. Everybody overshooting, <laughs> still loose. And a good slap there by Reese. Going to get it sent out. But they're slapped back in. And now a little wild bounce on the back wall there. Picked up there by J-Way. J-Way moving in. J-Way looking for a back pass. Goes to Jay. Oh. J-Way. Oh, that's done. And then J-Way getting it back. He gets sent out and cleared out of the bubble. Man, do you think these uh, teams are feeling a little bit of the pressure? Because I, I, I think so. Yes. I, it's, and it's natural, but these last weeks, these big games where it really matters to the outcome of your entire season to, to win as many as you can here in the last week, especially with the how close these ranks are you mentioned. and uh, So you can tell with some of these plays, they're really trying to push their limits, and that's why you get some of those overshoots and things like that at times. It's really when teams are going a little bit faster than maybe they're uh, used to doing when they're just more on a normal week and under normal control. Yeah, and you see that, I mean, the pace of it picking up. We said last game that, you know, it looked like a, a meta, you know, was calm and collected the whole time. And now they, now they are still looking, oh, that was a good opportunity there. That one's going to go low. They still looking, they're still looking very calm, but you're seeing the pace kick up. A lot more slaps, you know, a lot more slap, slap clears, a lot more slap, uh, slaps out of the bubble. And, uh, oh, that chain is on. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. What a fantastic chain there from Meta. They had a leech. They get there. They were accurate. They had the speed and they get it in. The sitting robot not taking any time. And shout out to Lanzan for the tier one sub, man. Sub for seven months. We appreciate it. What a goal there from Meta. Yeah, seven tiers for your tier one subs, Lanzan. You make me cry. Thank you for the support, of course. Uh, always appreciate it from everyone in the community for subs, bits, and even just for watching and chatting. Always uh, important and just glad to see y'all here. Right now, important game going on as Meta, well, that's an important to stop, but you look at the rebound. You know what? It worked out. They traded two points for three instead. Meta, they're up by seven. Wow, that was... Th Meta looking like... A, you know... I'm not gonna they don't look like a different team. Here's the thing. They don't look like a different team to me. They they showed signs of this in round one. They just weren't finishing once they got into the offensive zone. They are now finishing and they're now punishing as well. This is fantastic play from Meta here in round two. Uh this is setting us up for a very, very exciting round three. And uh, also quick shout outs to now Goku supping in as well as Uga Booga and Risen. Thanks once more for joining us. Uh, 
Right here, these teams trying to rise to the occasion if they can. Meta certainly doing that in the second round after only scoring two points and conceding 13 in round one. Uh, they are up in a really nice fashion. Just uh, four minutes left. I think the clock really is Meta's worst enemy right now. Yeah, because there's still, I mean, you point that out, there's still a lot of time here. It's only a seven point difference. It's a three goal difference as Kiwi sending that one across. So it's going to bounce there in the hands of JJ. JJ looking for the opportunity, juking all three defenders coming in for the shot on the goalie. And that's going to bring the Midnight's back within five here, back within two goals. What a play there. Yeah, great job to just maneuver through that defense. Not the easiest thing to do, even just driving in when you know you have so much uh, so many defenders surrounding you and again just add on top of that the how meaningful this game is as a turnover happens here But luckily the nest just getting in the way to at least shield off that open goal But dangerous because midnights they still gonna have an open drive essentially one-on-one -on -one, and nice placement as well winding around full wingspan the, the midnights right now are playing like They're playing like they're they're upset. They're playing like they're offended like, like something, uh, they're, they're playing with a vengeance right now. The J-Way and J JJ, in mm. particular, Kiwi Keith has been all over it. Matt Thrasher is just solid on the back line. But those three, and look at that, how fast they're coming in on that. They're, they're forcing that turnover immediately. J-Way coming away with it. J-Way going up to Kiwi Keith. Kiwi Keith going to send this one into JJ. JJ, they're going to get sent up by that chain. Good good response there by Meta uh, to turn that one back over as they start sending up here for off. Oh, Ooh. no, another disruption. J-Way stuffing it. J-Way getting it. J-Way so, oh, gets stunned out and now back in the hands of Sinning Robot. Rage doing a great job to try and recover. That's twice now, at least now. We'll make it three times. He got the disc there. Uh, gonna lose it out here and continue to brawl. I think at this point, I would normally I don't do this, but this point, I'm just recommending a straight out clear. I don't even care if there's anyone on the other end. They just need to find that outside and oh, inside oh to the goal. Almost a save. Sitting robot couldn't quite get it in time. That was that was that was awesome. So it started with sitting robot. Excuse me, it wasn't sitting robot. I, I didn't catch you actually sent the shot in, and I apologize to that player. He tapped it. He slapped it to that, that upper left a slanted wall, and that bounces it right to the floor. He goes down, picks it up, sends it in off the backboard. That was it. In, in, in far side uh, edge of the goal as well. That was a fantastic, fantastic goal. We're back within one here with only a minute and a half to go. Super important plays here now for Meta. This is crunch time, especially for them. You mentioned Midnight's. They maybe can afford to drop a game here. Might not be the same case for Meta in terms of making those uh, rookie finals. So really just, this is uh, 10 weeks of work coming down to this week, coming down to this game, coming down to this minute. Uh, they need to execute. So now down into the bubble, J-Way has it, has a one on two coming in. Oh, nice grab there by Reese. And that clear is gonna get through all the way down to mid though in the hands of Matt Thrasher there on the back one. Excuse me, now turning it around, sending it into the bubble there, but right in the hands of uh, the goalie, uh, Reese, who's going to come out, slap it out. But Kiwi Keys with a quick grab, going to send it into JJ. JJ coming in. You know he likes to do those, and he does it. Goes in one on three, is going to get the goal, and that's a one-point lead here to Midnight's with one minute to go. JJ's cell swinging in like a gazelle with a super important goal. It's Midnight's up by one. There's 40 seconds left. And for Meta, well, they just need to uh, hunker down, and this is this is again where it all uh, comes to uh, after all these weeks trying to find a play, and they just might uh, looking like maybe a one-on-one, -on -one, but just the mishandles. So Mad Thrasher trying to get it out of there, and they will into the pocket now. Now picked up by JJ. He's gonna get stunned out there by Reese. Reese sending it Woo! in. 60 seconds. Hits the boss. Boss coming in. Boss oh! hits it. They're going to round three. They're going to round three. The boss plays with the boss's play, taking over, and what a crucial goal to take the lead really late. Unbelievable off that turnover. I thought they were done. Meta, they thought better. Yeah, I agree with, uh, I agree with uh, Tool to game. Clutch is the word uh, to use after that one. That was absolutely phenomenal there. And uh, I'm just now noticing the, uh, the the round two win uh, the the win the, the, the new uh, the new uh, graphic there that's out that's awesome. Uh, but yeah, what oh, a uh, what a final goal there to the boss. Ooh. I mean, he took it took that pass. It was a great play in the uh, in the trap there on the far side, uh, picking it up there for uh, Meta, and then sending it down to uh, the boss who brings it in uh, and, and does a little twirl there. Has a defender coming on him. Uh, goalie comes out to challenge. Goalie gets a stun out, but not in time. And uh, yeah, 
uh, a one point victory there. I mean, and that's after, I mean, we said it. Uh, we said at the end of round, at the end of round one there, 13 2 was not going to be indicative of the of the whole game. And uh, it, well, it wasn't. Round yep. two there, 11 to 10. Well, this is going to be a very exciting round three. Well, I mentioned that earlier as well, how we saw very, very recently some of these games where the first one was just really lopsided, you know, uh, and that's going to happen, especially high pressure situations. Sometimes just being streamed alone on a regular week can, you know, be uh, a mental factor at times, but. I've seen it enough recently where it's, it's just you come to expect it. Uh, even if these first round lopsided matches happen because of, again, the whole ladder system. I mean, the point is you, at this point in the season, you are matched up against teams uh, that are pretty close, you know, within uh, your ranks. So it's not like week one or two where you're, you were searching for your MMR and trying to establish that. And there might have been lopsided matches here and there. This is late in the season. So these teams are matched up against each other for a great uh, reason and I think in the last 24 hours alone or maybe a little little bit more just dating back to venues so maybe 30 hours or so but uh, we've seen I think three or four game winners now at this point and I also just want to point out the depth of talent we have uh, the Midnight's the Midnight's are in 40th place on the overall ladder and they're these teams are playing this well against each other I mean that's what we're talking about they're they're 40th but there's they this game is this is not uh, this is not a low level game this is high level play from rookie teams that are coming up and i i'm just so this is the depth of talent we have in this in this sport is absolutely phenomenal and this is i mean we're proving it here in this game and now into the deep end trying to go for a shot again but taking over nice midfield play though by uh, mad thrasher just the same it's the boss the hero from the second round he's looking to zero in on a three-point goal now that Ooh. rebound will be had to him still has an open goal just briefly and couldn't make it through that corner slice before the defense retreats that's harsh you know that that doesn't feel good but uh teammate trying to get there no it's gonna be jayway picking it up and uh trying to clear it out reese cannot get the grab on it though he's, he's right by it trying to get there still no one picking it up now caught in the trap here for turning it around the ball excuse me all right well uh, jj is uh trying to dodge through unsuccessfully though held on to it for a little too long was a little bit bold the boss again getting a hold of the disc or at least a slap on it and now needing to find their stacks if they can don't uh don't overshoot it that's the main thing we saw it mess up both teams in the last round a little bit so get that accuracy press that defense and press that goal meta the first two points of this final round See, Rage, now it looks like, I mean, at first glance, it looks like Rage did not have the lane there. But what Rage saw that we couldn't from my angle or your angle was that he had all that room underneath there. He saw the lane. He had the lane. They had to come down on top of him there to get to him. He had that lane. He took it. That was a beautiful goal there from Rage for the first two on the board to Meta here. All right, now Midnight's looking for maybe out position defense. Uh, good pass to the nest, but now defense retreating back. Uh, trying to get a grab on it, maybe. Recovering four players, one on four. No score. Boss plays. He is coming up clutch uh, in so many plays. Offense, defense, in the goal, out the goal. But in to the shot attempt. J-Way unable to find it, but Reese does. Yeah, Reese with a good read there. He was playing in goal, had that good save, and now it comes out for that grab. Going to send it down. Rage. Rage, no. Oh. Oh. Oh, the one bounce in the trench there. That tells you when you get a clean bounce in trench there, that means you have a chance. You have a shot. And that shot goes in 38 meters out. That's a five-point lead here to meta. Wow. Goosebumps is what I have right now. That 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 stalwart defense in the goal, just the great handles, finding it in the midfield, finding the bounce. I mean, that was just good decision with good execution combined. And Man, are they capitalizing right now uh, in, the, in these last couple rounds, really just uh, putting on the, the burners on uh, Midnight's here. Yeah, but now JJ sending this one up to Jay Way. Oh, Jay Way getting stunned out. What a read there by sitting. They're they're turning it up here. Meta is turning it up on both offense and defense. That defensive play there was phenomenal. As oh no, it looks like Rage uh, maybe experiencing some lag or dropping out. Something going on here is he's not in the play. JJ with it. They have a three on two coming in here. JJ sending it up to Kiwi. Kiwi shot. He hits it. That's going to be two points on the board here to Midnight, bringing it back within three. And I do uh, maybe, I'm not sure if he disconnected. We might get a restart here, though. Yep, can confirm. Just pressed it. Uh, they're sending a robot for meta. So restart was pressed. It, it was pressed. All right, not pressed, I guess. It looked like it was pressed. Maybe he, he retracted his hands at the very last second. I take it back then. Uh, Rage here, you're going to send it over to uh, sending a robot. And five points 
you know, uh, hopefully their issue, whatever it was, it's solved because they're on offense. They can't afford to lose that disc, especially to a weird connection or tracking issue. Uh, not the time to happen with six minutes left in the third. Oh, and the boss plays. They heard that they needed to execute and they did again. Boss is super clutch here in this match. They just picked that defense apart. Once again, Rage again, seeing a lane and t just taking the, just pulling, just, just, just taking the advantage. Uh, he, 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 again, you saw there were two defenders between him and uh, the boss, but the defenders again were too low. This time, last time they were too high, this time they were too low and he got it right over their heads, got it over. The boss though, another turnover. He's gonna get this one from JJ, but only for a moment as JJ does get it back here. A bit of a scrum there in that far side too, but he's gonna get this one sent into J-Way. J-Way juking out uh, the sinning robot, gets that pass into Kiwi Key. Oh, a misplayed goalie coming out. That's Reese coming out to slap the one on the bubble. And still recover though, so staying on this side of the floor. Uh, Meta on the defense, Midnight's trying to work in that offense, but into just a big cluster there as uh, they get stuck with some punches and that gets sent out again, but same kind of thing. I mean, Midnight's, they're getting those rebounds. They have a midfielder steady. They have a one-on-one -on -one play. That's saved by Reese between the, again, the clutch plays after clutch plays. Meta is showing up here, but Midnight's uh, still not far behind and we still have five minutes left. So Boss coming in, Boss bringing it in. Oh, the oh, grab gosh. there by JJ, sending it out now. But uh, yeah, just over halfway through round three here. Excuse my, uh, uh, yeah, excuse that. As uh, it's not going to be Rage here. Rage sending this one back to the back line here. Going to be picked up by Reese here. Reese now sending this one in. Loses the hand. Going to go right in the hands of J-Way. And now they're turning it around here at the Midnights. I, I'm so impressed by both these teams. What uh, Some of these plays they're pulling off. And, and again, it's, it's already difficult enough to play good defense. And and things like that but when you have the added pressures uh, all the x factors xyz factors here today uh, it just makes it all the more impressive when they're pulling things like this off sinning robot uh launching off to the boss plays looking to make exactly that happen again another play as a sinning robot catches it but only catches those hands as it goes off to the side so now loose disc gonna bounce around wild here for a moment kiwi keith gonna slap this one back he did have a little room here there. Maybe he didn't need to slap it, but now Reese Peace, Reese sending it to Boss. Oh, stuff there by Matt Thrasher, who's gonna get this one sent out back towards mid. Gonna bounce around mid. Reese is there on the back line picking it up. He gets stunned out, but still gets this one cleared back in. Bouncing down towards the trench there. Uh, JJ has it, but only for a moment is a sinning robot coming up with it, sinning. Sending it up to Rage. Rage with an opportunity. Rage taking it. Brings it in for another two there. A rage on fire this round. Rage. Meta rage. On fire this round. Rage, Not rage. Seven. Against the dying of the light, didn't we? They are lighting it up. Meta, nine points. Three minutes left, they're up by seven. Midnight's on the joust advantage. They can still make this a game. Uh, they, we saw what they did in the first round. Almost shutting out Meta, 13 to two. Uh, we're not that far removed. That said, that goal uh, is almost gonna re uh, remove them from contention if they're not careful. Less than three left here. Midfield and back to the blue side. Now this one cleared all the way down into the Meta bubble, but picked up there by Reese's. Uh, by, excuse me, Reese. Reese there. Turning it around, pulling J-Way. Oh, no, J-Way picking it up, bringing it in. Hits the two. We're back with the two goals. Uh, we saw this last round. In the last few minutes there, they came back within five. Uh, Midnight stayed suddenly. It was a one-point game, back and forth. And you know wow. what? We, uh, mm. we saw just that from J-Way and, and from Midnight's in the, the first uh, two rounds as well. Those great, great reflexes getting the steals. So fantastic play from J-Way. And again, Midnight's just showing uh, that they're still in it to fight. In fact, uh, they got this disc back and this is gonna be a huge goal if they can get that off the backboard. Just going to rebound into the hands of JJ Zell. So one J to another trying to make them plays and wow, they continue, didn't we, to just amaze here. Uh, it's a three point match and they're like the same case as before. For meta, they're ahead, but clock is seriously their worst enemy. They wish this was already done. Man. Yeah, this is uh. This is a great showing here. Both teams just firing off in all three rounds here. Uh, I mean, this is uh, oh, uh -oh. No. the headbutt there. They have two down there uncontested. The defense is getting back. Jayway looking to bring it in, takes the shot. He's going to get it. And just like last round, we're back with him one. Right back to it. This is a, a, such a really high stakes and fun match to watch. I'm thrilled that it came down to this third round. I'm sure either of these teams, they would have loved to sweep, of course, but 
Man, uh, right down to the wire, you talk about these high stakes. Again, for meta especially, this, this game very important. For Midnight's as well. But meta really does need uh, every win they can get if they want to keep their playoff, their finals hopes alive. And trying to do just that here with a drive, but missed on the shot. That could have at least put them up by, by three there. And uh, just trying to get it back for one more goal, and it will go. Guess who it is? It's Boss Plays again at the end of a round. Yeah, that's uh, that's that determination there, knowing you need those points. And uh, he, he missed the first one. He got stunned out as he was taking the shot. It goes low. He gets it back. Uh, sitting robot uh, picked it up, sent it back to Boss. Boss comes in for another one. Gets that one up by three here. So with only 35 seconds to go, it's going to be the Midnight's here with the uh, Joust advantage. All right, now a missed Joust there. Perhaps we'll get right back to Meta. 30 seconds left. And if Meta can get that, that control and just not lose this disc, they don't need to score. But... Uh, just find your spacing, find the passes, and that is not what they needed, but that is certainly what they did as Rage tries to finish this one off with one more boost into an open goal. Could it be? It is. The boss plays again, and they keep their team in the race. 13 to 8 in round three. Yeah, this is a this is a massive win here from Meta uh, in regards to those rookie final. I mean, this is huge. Uh, this this could put them back in the top 16 uh, for now, ostensibly back into the top 16. Uh, this way, not necessarily, and this doesn't necessarily kick the Midnight's out, but that's that's what we're potentially looking at right now with this victory here from Meta. Now the the the, the score was close. Uh, it may have even been points in favor of. Uh, of the Midnight's after that first round. So that'll definitely have an impact on, uh, on how uh, how hard the MMRs are gonna swing here. But this is a major victory for Meta and it's also a major victory for the race itself because that keeps, you know, that that brings the race just closer in mm -hmm. overall. Uh, this is uh, this is absolutely phenomenal here. You know what, uh, we, what, a, what a victory for Meta. This is a major victory for Echo Arena and it's th this competitive scene, like you mentioned earlier, so healthy right now. Uh, the fact that we can get these kind of quality matches with those kind of quality, just immensely clutch plays, both the ends of uh, rounds two and three. I mean, some of those steals, some of those saves, the scores, the pa everything. Uh, and these big situations, I, I love the fact that we can get that here. Only, what, four months into uh, most of these players playing careers in Echo. So uh, really crazy stuff unfolding. And uh, love to see it. Meta, they're going to keep themselves alive. And Midnight's, once again, they're still going to have some buffer, perhaps. Uh, might not be, you know, the, the season ender by any stretch. But it does put the pressure on them yet more uh, in their coming matches this week. Yeah, it does. And, uh, I mean, yeah. And it puts pressure on everybody, even. Because, you know, if Meta loses this one, they fall, they fall far enough down that no one's really worried about them anymore. And that, that takes a, just a minutia of pressure off. Uh, but with Meta winning this one and pushing up higher, uh, that puts a lot of pressure on all the teams. That, that's another team they have to compete with and uh, this week. And, it, yeah, this is, uh, this is big. This is just big for everybody. This mm -hmm. is, uh, I, I love this game. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love this game. Yeah, uh, me, me too. Uh, this, this match and just this game as a whole, it's, uh, it's phenomenal. And the thing is, uh, I mean, look at the stats here. Uh, J-Way, 13 points over for Midnight's. One assist, one save, 38 stuns. He had Kiwi Keith with four points, three assists, 36 stuns. Mad Thrasher with one assist, four saves, two steals, and nine stuns. And then JJ Zell with 12 points, three assists, two saves, three steals, 29 stuns. Uh, they, they lost the match, but if you look at those stats, I mean, you wouldn't think so because those are some big numbers from so many players in different categories, whether it's, again, you know, assists, saves, points, uh, stuns, whatever the case. They, they still had a super impressive game for Midnight's. It just, it, it could not quite get it done against Meta. And gotta shout out, I mean, they all did some great work, but holy smokes, the boss, 20 big points. And factoring in when some of those points came in, I'm worth 40 in my eyes. I mean, uh, big numbers, five saves as well as 63 stuns. That is double the amount uh, of a lot of these players in this match right now. I mean, then you have Rage with nine points, four assists, three steals, 37 stuns. Uh, Reese Pieces with two assists, three saves. And then Sinning Robot with two in uh, points, assists, and saves, and then 35 stuns. Big, big stat lines. Yeah, and, and I mean, you just see everybody contributing everywhere. I mean, everybody on meta has at least one save there. Most, uh, most everybody on the Midnight's has a save. Uh, everybody has assists on the Midnight's. Most everybody has assists on Meta. I mean, everybody's contributing everywhere. 
and uh, that's what make you know that's what makes that's what sets the the, the top teams apart mm -hmm. from everyone else is the teamwork is how everybody contributes everywhere you know you have yes you're a goalie but you're also getting assists you're also getting the the odd score here and there or maybe you're scoring a lot even there's there's some goalies that can really throw them throw them out but uh oh, yeah. everybody's contributing absolutely everywhere and uh when you look at stat stat boards like this this is what you want to see after your games everybody has points everywhere yeah absolutely and just uh fantastic work all around great great to see a uh, fun game and Excited to see how these next several days pan out. Uh, going to be a busy one, I'm sure. So, you know, the streams, uh, we'll, we'll get as many done as we can. I'll get as many done as I can. And because uh, aside of, not because I'm, uh, you know, obligated in a sense. I'll, I guess I'm kind of, uh, I kind of am. But even if I wasn't, <laughs> like, I would, I would be all over these. Because I want to watch every single one of these teams and just how uh, they progress from week one to week ten. And I want to see these games myself just as a fan, never mind a caster. So uh, we're going to get as many as we can. And I'm excited to see the results later on. Uh, but speaking of later on, we do have a couple more matches in the day, not for a little while yet, which is to say uh, uh, 45 minutes away, we're going to have misfits and underrated rookies at the uh, top of the hour. And we'll also have There Is No Team versus Wireless Jacks. Uh, exactly an hour from now. Well, I guess now 59 minutes, but uh, yeah, in uh, the 15-minute the mark of the next hour. So 7.15 Pacific, 10.15 uh, Eastern, and that will be streamed as well. And those are looking, at least as of now, are only matches uh, uh, scheduled for the remainder of the day. So uh, you'll have your opportunities to watch plenty tonight. Uh, but until then, real quick, thanks to our sponsors in uh, Pro2 VR, VR Cover, Rebuff Reality, Fixed Gaming and VRWare.net. Our league moderators in Wit, Nada, Gilligan, Princess, Alacost, Sneaky Evil, Echo Zero, and Danomic Fabulous. And of course, thanks to our fantastic chat there. Super active watching uh, these high pressure and uh, big situation kind of games. Uh, appreciate uh, you all from, for being there. Full Metal Jacket, One Boosty Boy, Technical Rex, Too Old to Game, Farting Crab, 007, uh, Risen Echo, just to echo your name once again. Uga Booga as well. Uh, uh, Cyanide there, always watching and commenting and being. Uh, is just as impressed, I guess, as we are as, you know, longer time players. It's good to see, isn't it, Side Knight? <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, anything else, did we, or shall we go? Nah, this is a great game. Thank you, teams. <laughs> yeah, indeed. All right, well, thank you, Dimwi, for casting with me. I've been Palador. This has been VRML, the start of week 10, the last week of season two. Uh, so until next time, 45 minutes from now, uh, yeah, be happy, healthy, safe, good to each other. All that good stuff, and we'll see you again pretty soon.